Hello, in this video, we will be discussing concept 15, which is over line and rotational symmetry. In geometry, we define symmetry as when one shape becomes exactly like another shape when you've changed it in some way or moved it in some way. And we're gonna be focusing on both line and rotational symmetry. So line symmetry is when this shape or object becomes an exact reflection over a line of symmetry, which we call the line of reflection. So what we have here is three examples. And I want you to kind of look at how I might determine if there's a line of symmetry. So you need to be able to visualize if I take this image and fold it on top of itself, will it line up exactly? So first we have an equilateral triangle. So could I potentially cut that figure in half and it lay on top of itself? And we can. There's actually three lines of symmetry in this equilateral triangle. The one that goes straight down the middle and then the two that are coming from the bottom corners through the opposite sides, the middle. So if I fold anywhere along those lines of symmetry, my shape will become an exact reflection of itself. Looking at my next diagram, it's a little bit trickier. So if I look at this, there's no way if I reflect over this, that that's going to line up, right? If I look at this bottom left corner, if I reflect directly over that line, it's not going to lay on top of this top left corner. If I go diagonal here, it's still not gonna line up. Like if I line this over, it's gonna go over here instead of directly on top. There's no way that if I put a line that these are really actually going to line up when I reflect over those lines. Because of that, that parallelogram has no lines of symmetry. And then our final example, looking here, I feel like most of you can realize that we have one line of symmetry right down the middle of our Batman logo. Moving on to rotational symmetry. Rotational symmetry is when an object or a shape is turned between zero degrees and 360 degrees and becomes exactly like the original. So again, when I say becomes, I kind of mean maps onto itself. So if I rotate, it's going to map right on top of itself. We do not have three, we do not have rotational symmetry if we have to go a full circle for my shape to be the same. It does not count if we have to go all the way around to 360 degrees. So looking at this first image, it already kind of has some symmetry if you look at it. So the hard part is figuring out how much. So what I'm going to do is these kind of these mappings. So if I take this point, I can turn from here to here and it's going to map onto itself and so forth around that shape. So I do have rotational symmetry. The question is how much? So looking at the number of turns, I have seven turns I can make. before it maps all the way around 360 degrees. We know again, a circle has 360 degrees. So to determine the rotational symmetry, you wanna take 360 divided by your number of terms, turns. So 360 divided by seven is 51.4 degrees. On some things, you're gonna be asked to give all of your degrees of rotation. So to do that, you're just gonna take your degree, so the 51.4, and multiply it to get all the turns. So 51.4 times two to get your next degree of rotation, times three, times four, et cetera, till you can get all your degrees of rotation. Looking at our next image, which is on a coordinate plane, I could turn that image four times, which is how I got 90 degrees rotational. So 360 divided by four is 90. And so if I was asked to list all the degrees of rotation, all the degrees would be like 90 
180, 270, and 360 would be all degrees of rotation. And in our final example, we have no rotational symmetry. You would have to turn that kite all the way around before it lays on top of itself. So what we're gonna do next is look at three examples to determine if there's any type of symmetry the figures have. So in the first example, we have a crosswalk sign. And you want to think of the whole image. Is there any way I can look at that image and that's going to lay on exactly on top of itself, including the person inside? And there's no way I could lay that on top of itself. There's also no way I can turn that shape so it lays on top. Whereas if we look at the smiley face, we can kind of see some visual symmetry. I could make a line right down the middle so that I have one line of symmetry. However, there's no rotational symmetry. I would have to do a whole 360 degree turn before that smiley face lines up directly on top of itself. However, if we look at our final example with the star, we have five lines of symmetry. And I've drawn those five lines in. I also have 72 degrees rotational symmetry. I can turn that figure five times and it will lay on top of itself. So 360 divided by five gives me my 72 degree of rotational symmetry. Our final problem states a figure has a vertex of negative four two that has the x axis as a line of symmetry. Tell the coordinates of another vertex on the figure as an ordered pair. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a coordinate plane and plot my point negative four, two. We're told that the sum figure has a x-axis as a line of symmetry. So we don't know what the figure looks like. We just know we have the point negative four, two, and the x-axis is a line of symmetry. So you're gonna take that point and reflect over the line of symmetry, much like we did in concept 14b. So after I reflected, I got the point negative 4, negative 2.